Hey guys, Rick Kern, the Scaly Dad here. And you know, here at Scaly Adventures, one of the things we get a lot of questions about is venomous snakes. And I happen to live here in the Southeast, and one of the most common ones that we get questions about is the Copperhead. And there's a couple of reasons. Number one, they're pretty prevalent throughout the Southeast region here. And the second thing is because they're frequently mis mistaken for a lot of other different snakes, from water snakes to even harmless corn snakes. And if you go a little bit south of here, even yellow rat snakes. So I wanted to just take a minute to introduce you to my friend, the Histrion contortix. And what you'll notice first is I got this red bucket here. And anytime you're working with a venomous snake, there's a couple of precautions you need to take. One of them is that you're going to have it in a marked tub so that everyone can recognize it. Second thing is you're going to wear snake resistant boots. And I've got those on here. And the third thing is you want to have some type of reliable instrument so that you can safely pick up and move the animal. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull out my friend right now. And we actually got two of these. And this should tell you here in the southeast how prevalent these are. These I found within the span of less than 12 hours in my yard. So the snake hook that I have here will gently grasp the animal. It doesn't hurt it. And I barely put on pressure. And here he is. And this is exactly what they look like. Now what's really neat about him is as soon as I set him down, he doesn't want to leave me. As soon as I set him down, his first instinct is to flee, <laughs> normally. His first instinct is to actually get away from me. And a lot of times people get very concerned and they think that these things are vicious. And that's why they attack him with a hoe or a, a machete in the yard or something like that. But as you can see, he really pretty much wants to be left alone. In fact, interestingly, there's an ant crawling over him right now. A couple of really cool things though. One of them is that you'll notice that part of the reason that they're called a copperhead is because that head is actually a really, really coppery color. And the second part is that he has a fantastic camouflage pattern across his back. In fact, if I put him up there in some mulch, you would never, ever be able to see him. There's probably a half a dozen of them on the side of this mountain, and I would walk right over him and never see him. The final thing that's really cool about him is his tail actually tapers down to a real point, and it's, it's dark. And what's interesting is when I went to get him, he wanted to convince me that it was a rattlesnake. So what he did was as soon as I approached him, the first thing he did was ball up and started shaking his back tail. Now, copperheads don't happen to have any type of rattle like their cousin the rattlesnake, but that's one of his favorite tricks to do. So the final thing that's really cool about him is he actually uses heat as a source of hunting. And what he does is he has things in, in his face and they're called L'Oreal pits. And they actually give him the ability to sense infrared. So what happens is he'll bite his prey. He's not a constrictor. He'll bite it. But as soon as he bites it, then what he'll do is he'll let that venom do its work. Once the venom starts to do his work, he's able then to follow and track. But what's really neat about him is, like I said, he's not very vicious. He's not scary or anything like that. He just wants to be left alone. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you the proper technique to get him up. And that is I'm going to use these snake hooks, snake tongs, and I'm just going to come to the third part of his body. If you notice, I'm safely away from him. Okay, I've got him. I've got him. I'm not squeezing a lot of pressure. I put him inside of the tub here. I release him. He's perfectly fine. I take this venom tub. If this is a bigger snake, I would never put my face right over the tub. You notice I keep a good distance. These are smaller snakes, so I know their striking distance. The final thing I do, place this tub over top of it, secure it, and let everyone in the area know that there's a venomous snake nearby. So don't be afraid of copperheads. What you want to do is look around and just know your area, that where they might live. And here's a final trick. If you get bitten by something out in the woods and you're not sure what it is, because even I might get bit by something in, in a panic, not know what it is. Reach in your back pocket, take a picture of it with your cell phone. It could save you over $100,000 because what happens sometimes is if you're bitten by a snake and they can't identify it, they may give you antivenin treatment and that can run upwards of $200,000. So that little cell phone picture could be worth its weight in gold. So stay tuned here at Scaly Adventures to learn more about other snakes and other animals that we film with and we'll see you. Stay smart, stay scaly, and stay here at scalyadventures.com.